Welcome to Cinema of the Rainbow, I'm Andy, thanks for joining me once again today. We're having a look at the 1983 vampire flick, The Hunger. So David Bowie plays, I love I just said that in a review, come on, David Bowie plays John, who's facing a new problem arising in his relationship with Miriam, played by Catherine Deneuve. You see, they're both vampires and supposed to live forever, but John starts to notice that he's aging and extremely rapidly, so he's looking for ways to save himself whilst Miriam is setting her sights on a new lover to replace him in Sarah, played by Susan Sarandon. All three main performers are hypnotizing, which is kind of how you can describe the whole vibe of the film itself. It feels like one elongated dream sequence of symbolism, of neo-gothic atmosphere soaking you in the aesthetic and elegance of this couple's lifestyle. It's very much aesthetic porn. Like, it's very much like slow motion curtains moving in the wind with neon lights and, and doves in the attic flying around and <laughs> stuff like that. It's also a bit of a slow burn of a film, but note there is a distinct difference between slow burn and slow. I don't think this film is slow. I don't think it's boring. It, some of y'all might. Some of y'all might think it's a bit too artsy fartsy for its own good, kind of getting lost in the dreamy sauce of artifice and all that. But to me, it's all about soaking in the atmosphere and the beauty of it all while seeing kind of the toxicity and the decadence beneath the surface. Now, kind of a funny thing, if you're like me, a giant fan of American Horror Story, you might recognize a lot of this film. In season five, Hotel of American Horror Story, we're introduced to Lady Gaga playing a vampire who uses knives instead of fangs, and her vampirism is kind of a virus instead of a curse like this film. And also her introduction scene is her and her boyfriend going out to find another couple to then have a foursome with them before killing them and draining their blood. That's the opening scene of this film. She too has a long string of lovers whom she's promising eternal life to only to replace them when she gets bored, <laughs> like this film. And also similarly in season three of American Horror Story Coven, um, there is a powerful character who's noticing that they're aging rapidly and they're turning to science to kind of stop aging so they can retain their power. That's David Bowie's storyline in this film, so that's kind of funny. On the negative side, I will say the pacing of the film is a bit weird. For the first half of the film, David Bowie is definitely the main character, but then it shifts and it becomes about the flirtation ship between Miriam and Sarah, and then it just, the pacing, it just quickens, everything escalates and goes by so quickly that it becomes kind of confusing in a way. And it just, if any of y'all know what the, the ending of the film means, please explain it to me because I've been confused about this after watching it four times through the years. It's definitely one of those movies where the importance of symbolism trumps the logical way things should play out. And nothing wrong with that, but it's definitely a choice. But that's The Hunger. It remains a cult classic and a stable and queer vampire flicks. If it sounds like something you'd enjoy, I kind of have a soft spot for it personally. Do go watch it and tell me what you think. I'm Andy, and this has been Cinema of the Rainbow.